it's Susan here from Komori no Hime Cosplay, and today we're going to be making the accessories for Halloween Barbie. Barbie's necklace is very much a statement necklace, and I couldn't find exactly the same type of beads to mimic her design, so I had to get a little bit creative. For the base charm, I took a large black bead and threaded it on to a black eye pin. Next, we're going to take a pair of pliers and fold over the top. Then we're going to wrap the wire back around to create a loop. Use a pair of wire cutters to remove the excess wire. Then we're going to use some pliers to attach a teardrop shaped charm to the bottom of the charm we just made. Repeat this process to create as many charms as you would like. Thread the charms onto some black elastic cord using smaller round beads to fill in the gaps and to add on to the length. Knot the ends together and trim away the excess cord. And with that, Barbie's necklace is done. Next, we're going to make Barbie's broom. The broom that's included with the doll is just a piece of printed cardboard, but we're going to make ours a little bit more substantial. For the base broom, I'm using a wooden broom that was intended for fall home decor. It's a pretty nice broom, but right now it's not very Barbie-ish, so it's time to change that. And here's what the broom looks like painted. So for the handle of the broom, I used a base coat of Apple Barrel acrylic paint. The color for this one is strawberry. And then to give it that kind of magical glistening look, I used the color shift paint, and this color is Orchid Flash. I did find that it did need to have the pink undercoat to really bring out the pink in this paint because when it was on the dark wood of the original handle, it mostly was showing up with the golder tones. And for the end of the broom, to give it some of that Barbie glitter, I used the Glitterific paint. This color is pink neon, and I'd never used this type of paint before. It's very goopy, so instead of really painting it on, it was mostly just taking a brush and dabbing it on, but I do really, really like the glitter flake effect that it left behind. To cover up the twine pieces, I took some pink satin ribbon and hot glued it around the broom. And with that, Barbie's broom is finished. Now we're moving on to Barbie's little tiny witch hat. For Barbie's hat, I just made a quick little pattern out of some newspaper, and we're going to use that to cut two donut shapes out of black satin and apply some interfacing onto the backs of them to make them a little bit stiffer. And we're going to cut two of the base hat pieces out of satin, again applying some fusible interfacing, and we're also going to zigzag along the curved edge to help finish the ends. Putting right sides together, we're going to sew the two hat brim pieces together along the outer edge, and we're going to take the two base hat pieces and sew them together along the curved sides. Turn the hat brim right side out, then we're going to zigzag along the center area to hold the two pieces together and to finish the edges, and I also top stitched around the outer edge. Then we're going to turn the base hat piece right side out, and we're also going to make the decoration now you could just tie some pink ribbon around it if you prefer that, but I cut two of the pieces out of some pink satin, and now we're going to sew them together along the edge. Turn the pink piece right side out and slip it over the hat base. Then I zigzagged along the edge to hold the two pieces together and to finish the edge. Then I took the upper edge of the pink, folded it inward, and hand sewed it into place. Alternatively, you could hem that area before sliding it onto the hat. Sew the hat brim to the base of the hat. I ended up accidentally cutting mine a little bit too big, so it's a little bit lumpy in the back, but from the front, I think it looks okay. Then sew the hat 
onto a fabric covered headband. To make the Barbie emblem for her hat, I made the base emblem out of some 2mm craft foam layered together, then sealed it with some Mod Podge, painted it with some more of the strawberry acrylic paint, and then added a layer of the color shift paint so that it would match the broom. Use a hot glue gun to attach the emblem to the hat. And with that, Barbie's accessories are done! For more cosplay tutorial videos, please subscribe. A big thank you to Plaid Crafts for providing some of the supplies used in this video, and thank you very much for watching.